Hey guys, Boz here. Doing a quick little video to showcase the uh, new Steam feature for broadcasting. Now people have asked me about this and I think it's pretty cool uh, and it gives you guys a great way if you want to share what you're playing so your friends can watch but you don't want to go through the whole trouble of setting up a Twitch account or setting up a program like OBS or something else. You just, you know, you don't want to use Twitch but you want to allow your friends to watch you play games and you can even allow like anybody to watch you play games through Steam. Uh, but it's up to you to set it up. So what we're going to do is you're going to see two windows right now. You're going to see the uh, bottom window is my main desktop, and that's my main gaming system. Uh, but the, the topmost window right now is my laptop. And what I've done is I've created just a generic Steam account uh, that doesn't really have any games or anything. But it's going to kind of be our test account. So in order to use this feature, you have to opt in. You have to opt in to the new Steam beta. So to do that. You can bring up your Steam page. You bring up the Steam, uh, your library, and you can go under Steam Settings. And then you're going to go to the Account tab, and you're going to go to the Beta Participation. And you can see we're currently not participating. We're going to hit Change, and then we're going to go into the Steam Beta Upgrade uh, or Update. Now this is only available, the streaming part, right now in the beta. Eventually it'll get released to the, the regular version of Steam and you won't have to do this. Uh, but depending on when you watch this video, if you don't see a broadcast tab here underneath music, you're going to have to opt into the beta. So once you do that, it's going to say, hey, this is going to require you to restart Steam. So we're going to do that. And then what it's going to do is it's going to download the newest version of the Steam beta and it's going to install it. So we're not going to sit and wait for this, so we're going to kind of jump ahead to where this is finished. All right, so what we're going to do is we're going to look at the uh, Steam settings on my main system. The other system has installed the beta and everything of, of the broadcasting features, but since it's a new account that I literally just set up and it hasn't had any games purchased, I can't broadcast. So you actually have to have a Steam account and you have to have purchased something. But literally, I just configured this account a little while ago. So uh, here you can see on my main account that there's a broadcasting tab. Now, this is the most important thing. And this is your privacy setting. And you've got to be very, very careful with this. You can set it so only friends that I invite can watch you play. So that means if you're playing a game and you say, hey, I want to let Billy watch me, you can send an invite to Billy and it'll pop up saying, hey, Billy, you know, Boz wants you to watch him play. So you can do that. Or you can say, which is the way I have it set, friends can request to watch my games. So that time, with this setting, anytime somebody's playing, uh, or I'm playing a game on Steam, somebody who's in my friends list can send a, a message to watch, and I'll show you how that works in a little bit. And it'll pop up a message on me saying, hey, Billy wants to watch you play this game. And I can say yes or no. Now the next is the video dimensions. Now these are some settings I would be careful with, because it, a lot of the video and the resolution uh, bit rate and all that really depends on how good a computer you have and how good your internet is. So I have it set to 1080p, which is the highest option. Uh, you might want to start at 1280 by 720. If you've got a really old computer, maybe go down to some of these lower resolutions, like say 480. You can always work your way down. But I've got mine set to 1080, and I've got it set to the highest bit rate. This is how much your upstream from your internet needs to be, and you may not know this. I would recommend starting out somewhere around 1500 and just seeing how it works. I know my internet can handle more, so I'm going to leave it set at the full. And it's a good idea if you're trying to do, do um, 1080p that you actually have the bitrate cranking. Uh, if you go for lower resolutions, you can lower the bitrate. These are two things that you're going to have to play with, kind of depending on your internet. And then this is the viewer's chat. So people watching you can type message to you, and it'll actually overlay those messages on top of your uh, game, which is really nice. So if you only have one monitor, you don't have to worry about having a chat up on a second one. It'll put the chat in game. So you can try that if you want. I'm going to leave it top left. Now, this is a really big privacy setting down here that you really got to be careful with. Record my desktop when not in game. So what that means is when you quit out of your game, it will stream your entire desktop to your friends or whoever. If you do that, people can see your desktop. It might be useful if you want to show them something you're working on, show them something, maybe 
something that's not necessarily a Steam game, but I don't recommend that setting unless you're really sure what you're doing because you could literally be, you know, checking your email or doing banking and broadcasting your information out to uh, to your friends or to anybody because we're going to go back to this privacy setting in a second. So here you can say it says record and broadcast my microphone. You want that checked if you want them to be able to, to hear you talking. If you don't have a microphone, obviously, you can leave it unchecked. As of right now, this setting does not use push to talk. Even though your, your voice settings for Steam have a push to talk button, this thing broadcasts everything. So just be aware of if you're broadcasting and you're used to pushing, uh, doing a push to talk, if your mom walks in or somebody walks in and starts yelling at you or they're talking to you, especially about things you don't want necessarily going out, there is no way to stop the audio. So you have to mute your microphone like if it has a hardware mute button uh, of that type. So just be aware of that. And then show upload stats, and it gives you kind of a feedback on how, how good your upload is working, like if you're dropping frames and stuff. You might want to turn that on if you're playing with these settings and things aren't working good. So those are the basic settings, but let's look at these privacy settings once more. You know, I talked about where uh, you can have it set so only you invite your friends when you want them to watch you. Or you can allow it to be like I have it where friends can just request to watch me. Now, these are your Steam friends. And then you can also set friends can watch my games. If you set that, you don't have to give them permission. Literally, at any time you're playing, they can start watching you. Now, it will pop up messages tell you, telling you that people are watching you. Uh, but just be aware that with that setting, any game you're playing in Steam your friends can start watching you and then the big setting here the big privacy setting anyone can watch my games a lot of people are doing this on steam because they you know are wanting to have people watch them play in a sense kind of broadcasting like like twitch so you can have hundreds of people watching you uh, play your game and listen to you and then talk to you in, in your chat i wouldn't recommend that unless you're really ready for that that feature so i'm going to leave mine on friends can request to watch games once you have all that set, well, then you can run a game. And I'm just going to go ahead and run Speedrunners. All right, so we're in Speedrunners. So now what we're going to do is on my laptop over here, my other system, you can see it says Bellboss is running Speedrunners. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to go ahead and I'm going to say Watch Game. This is a new menu option. So if I click on this little down arrow and I say Watch Game, it'll start to connect. Now you can see over here on my main system, it's popped up saying Hardcore Boss would like to watch you. I can hit Shift Tab. I can say app Approve. And you can see that I'm currently broadcasting. And if you look over here on the screen, on here on my laptop, and you can we see have the game. I'm currently broadcasting. And if you look over here on the screen, on here on my laptop, we have the game. Right, I'm going to mute the audio on this stream so we don't get echo. But here you can see in the chat, I can type something. So I'm going to type test. And if you look at the very top left up there, it says hardcore boss says test. And you can see he even says you're better than Trent at speedrunners. So it works really well. Some of the text gets cut off. You could keep this as a broadcaster. You could keep that window up too. But, I mean, you can see I can play the game. All right, so we have a bot match going here. And you can see on the other screen, the, 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 the stream delay is about probably 10 seconds or so, uh, which is normal. But just remember, the great thing about this is you're streaming your gameplay to, to Steam servers. You can have 10 friends, 100 friends, 1,000 people on Steam watching you. It's up to you how you want to have it set. But this is a great way to just let your friends watch you play. Now, one of the things we've discovered is you can actually uh, add non-Steam games to uh, your uh, Steam menu. And like, a Shots tested this with me one day. And he actually installed uh, Minecraft to launch Minecraft from Steam. And it worked beautifully and he was able to stream Minecraft. So, I mean, there you go. I'm going to ahead and just quit the game, and it's going to stop my broadcast here because I'm not actually broadcasting the game anymore. Boom, broadcast is ended. So this was just a quick thing to let you see how easy it is to use the broadcast feature. It's a great way to just share your broadcast with your friends. 
it's not as powerful, say, as Twitch or as polished as Twitch. But if it's a real problem setting up uh, for Twitch with either XSplit or OBS, or you just don't want to get kind of thrown into that, and all you really care about are your friends, uh, it's a great way to just be able to share your gaming. Just be very aware of your f privacy features. Watch that you're just not allowing anyone to watch you. And be aware of the fact that uh, if you allow anyone to watch you, they can hear you, anything you say because there's no push to talk. So mute that microphone if you're going to allow anyone to watch you or even just your friends. Uh, you know, when you don't want to be heard, mute that microphone hardware wise. And then obviously too, be careful with your desktop. If you're sharing your desktop screen, uh, kind of like you see now on my desktop, if you start uh, browsing the web or doing banking or whatever, your friends are going to see that. So be careful of all that. And really the only other thing is play with those broadcast settings. Try 720p, maybe 1500 on the bitrate. If your internet can't handle that, drop the bitrate down to like 1000. See if that works. If the picture looks really bad, maybe drop the resolution down below 720 to 480. You just have to play with it. A lot of it depends on how good your internet is. Uh, but it's a great, cool feature, and hopefully you guys like these kind of tutorials because I've had some people ask me for some other things, and uh, we'll try to do some of that. So take care, and good luck broadcasting.